Hey, everybody. Thank you very much for uh, coming to this very short webinar. Take a good look at our, our school and our training. I wanted you to meet myself and my partner, Lisa Albin. And uh, my name's Steve Kodad. And we're going to start off by introducing ourselves a little bit so that you can have a pretty good idea where we're coming from. And uh, again, my name is Steve. And uh, Here's a little bit about me. Uh, my, fir my first career was as a mathematics teacher and a varsity basketball coach in New Jersey. And then I got into real estate and uh, I've been in real estate for, I, for over 20 years in three different states. And that's actually how I got involved with feng shui. Uh, I found out it, that it actually really helped me quite a bit with respect to selling my listings. And a lot of my buyers appreciated it too. Uh, I'm a national real estate trainer with Betsworks. You might want to look them up. They uh, actually uh, hire uh, trainers for different parts of the country. Uh, I have actually taught from in, anywhere from Las Vegas to Dallas to Boston to Atlantic City. And um, as you're going to find out, Lisa is also a red ribbon feng shui professional, as I am. That is the highest rank given to somebody in the International Feng Shui Guild. And I'm the owner of a company by the name of the Feng Shui Cure. Uh, I've had that company now for almost 15 years. And uh, I found the time to write a few books. My, my third book was published in 2016, first one in 2006. Anyway, Lisa's going to introduce herself a little bit right now. Lisa. Hi, everybody. Hi. Thanks, Steve. Um, nice to meet you all. Thanks so much for your interest. I am, as many of you, um, I have a winding and meandering path of life. While I am the owner of Cloud9 Feng Shui LLC as a consultant, I do have a rich background as well. I am a red ribbon feng shui professional, as Steve mentioned, which is something that I encourage all of our graduates to pursue. Um, and I am a lifestyle branding expert. A lifestyle branding expert means I create immersive experiences for brands. And now I do that with a feng shui twist, which is very interesting. I'm a former producer and manager for the Home Shopping Network, and I worked with them for 20 years and was able to integrate much of my feng shui lifestyle into my corporate career. So as many of you might be, I am a corporate refugee <laughs> and have really immersed myself into the uh, life of feng shui being very intrinsic with the principles. What is feng shui? And many of you might have inkling feng shui is an art or a science. And I think of it as an environmental science that just happens to be several thousand years old. Um, truth be told, it considers order, beauty, harmony, nature, balance, attraction, comfort, and success. And being able to often simply refer these as simply the art of placement. So all of these traits, think of it as the art of placement. Feng Shui is living in harmony with the natural world and being able to attune yourself and your environment with the five earthly elements that we will ingrain into your mind. It's the study of how to arrange your environment to enhance the quality of your life. That's what we're all about simply. And feng shui is about feeling safe and secure first. And I'll let Steve take it from here. Yeah, well, a lot of what we talk about is uh, how feng shui actually interacts with the subconscious. And you may or may not know this, but 95% of what goes on happens in your subconscious. So feng shui has an awful lot of very powerful effect for decisions. And we do an awful lot of scientific studies. Maybe that's because of my background in the sciences, but I had to find out that I felt like a lot of this stuff could be backed up. So for example, here's a study that uh, I've been presenting to people for a long time about looking at employees have uh, an office with a window and those who do not. And they found out that, that there were not only health problems, but they found out the employees that had a window were actually more productive and happier. 
And a lot of that has to do with the sunlight. So again, we do an awful lot with research and studies. One of the uh, top concepts that we teach is the importance of the perfect building site that was thought of thousands of years ago. Now, this is not as important nowadays, but this particular concept is tremendously important. And you'll find out in feng shui that really the most important element is really the surrounding environment. So if you look at the picture on, on the left-hand side, the mountain that is on the left, they would put their, their house, their temple, a third, a halfway up that mountain and protect their, their backs. But they were also looking for uh, a topology where there was protection to the left and to the right also. And they also wanted to be able to see for a long distance so that they could react. And that probably makes an awful lot of sense thousands of years ago, but you and I are still wired this way. This concept is referred to as the classic armchair. So again, it's having a high mountain or hill behind you protecting your back and then having some smaller hills or maybe trees on the left and the right. That's the arm rests. But then again, you can see a long, long way. So the classic armchair is used an awful lot in our teaching. And you'll find out if you decide to take our class that the concept is used inside and outside. We use it an awful lot with furniture placement. Now, there are two feelings that really impact feng shui tremendously. And believe it or not, one of them is actually the idea of security. A person on a subconscious level can feel very unsecure. So in feng shui, you wanna take that away. And once you can take that away, which of course we show you how to do it, then it creates tremendous comfort for a person. And once a person has great comfort, anything is possible at that point. Their success is definitely a lot stronger at this point. So safety and security is the first thing that you wanna take care of in a new environment. So whether you're coming from the real estate idea of working with a listing, or you have a house of your own, or you have somebody in your family that is having some troubles in their environment, you wanna make sure that they don't feel unsure, that they feel good there. So if they don't, they're gonna be less focused when entering this environment. They'll be less comfortable being inside and, and tend to not stay as long. So they do not stay there. They would rather be somewhere else and they actually have very poor recall of the good features, which certainly if you're involved with real estate or helping a real estate agent, that can't be good for the client or even in your own home. So we do an awful lot with befores and afters. And we take care of not only the inside, but we take care of the outside. So this home right here, which is a very common structure that you see all over the country, you're gonna become an expert of how to making it more welcoming and less threatening. In our thinking in feng shui, this is not a welcoming home. It's got a lot of sharp edges to it, which are referred to as poison arrows in feng shui. So we soften it. And very quickly, I'll just add a few features to this to try to give you an idea of what we take people through. So to the left, I might put a hanging basket, maybe one here, maybe soften the front of the house a little bit here, and then possibly add some trees. The corners of a house quite often are very sharp. So we go about softening the house, making it more welcoming, making it more attractive. And we get an awful lot more traffic that way, real estate wise, but it also is so much more comfortable for you to come home to. Lisa? So in Feng Shui, you'll have the opportunity to broaden your expertise within a, a various um, arsenal in your toolbox from helping with the building of a house um, evaluating existing homes from apartments to mansions, and we're very interested in tiny spaces as well. Aid in landscaping design. And also, don't forget, um, with Feng Shui, you can work with people in different areas of life as well, from the landscaping artists to, uh, to the architects, to the home stagers. 
or even take on that as yourself, you can help the owner or realtor sell a home. And in fact, that's how Steve and I met. He helped me sell one of my homes using feng shui. You can improve offices for productivity, and that's a big one today. There are so many opportunities aiding with health issues for an inhabitant of, an, of, a, of a home or a workspace. You can raise the energy to attract new opportunities and to help better able see those opportunities when they present themselves. Enhancing a career or job search and taking a real consideration of your life journey or path that you're on. And making a home feel more comfortable, just feel more like home. How many people feel like their home is not even their home? And I can tell you that is at least 80% of my clientele, they just wanna feel at home, not like they're at a vacation rental. And evaluating homes for buyers, even right down to finding the right plot of land for a buyer, whether that be residential or commercial. You may be hired to help with color selections, furniture purchase, lighting, placement, all of those items. It's all very important to draw back to all of those features that Steve talked about to help you feel more secure, more sure of yourself. And you might even be called upon to do a space clearing. And that's one of our favorite topics to present when we can get into those deeper levels of feng shui and teach you the space clearing rituals and those that we practice ourselves in our consultancies to help clear a space and improve creativity or educational advancement or achievement and that's something you might want to do right along with taking our course. And many people do that with much success. We want to remind you what you will receive when you decide to become certified with us. Not only do you get our quarterly newsletter on powerful tips, the latest research, and human psychology, we want to make sure you know about all of this. As much as we're intrigued and we delve into it, we want to make sure that we help you throughout your career. And that's at no additional cost right now. Uh, we love that about what we do with you. Your success is 100% ours and we find joy in that. Our webinars are recorded and we send them to you the next day. So if something comes up, you need to tune out, you have it. And we leave every one of our graduates with our very exclusive feng shui toolkit. No one else has this out there. And basically, it's something that Steve and I put our heads together in many, many meetings, right, Steve? That's right. Many, many meetings and really put thought behind what makes us successful and what we can pass on to our graduates to save them some time and effort and money to just jump right in. And we give that to you. Um, I think one of the most important things we give is one year of paid membership to the International Feng Shui Guild. And we are big fans and participants within the Guild. We love our Feng Shui brothers and sisters and we call upon them often. And it is such a great resource that I'll tell you a little bit more about in a bit. We give you a beautiful diploma, um, perfect for hanging. And the use of our logo that's shown here for you, for your marketing, it's very beautiful, the tree of life. There's a lot of meaning and thought that went into that. And our PowerPoint slides are emailed to you. Um, so you have them, you can reference back to them whenever you want. And we also provide our super valuable checklist. No one else has them out there. Um, so again, you can jump right in. We have checklists for the home buyer, the home seller, the homeowner, and also doing a business consultation. So you don't have to come up with them for yourself. You have access to our extensive video library forever. If you ever need to reference back to anything that we've ever said, we're right there. I mean, you can also call us, but you can go back to your video library and so much more. And we want to continue to evolve with what we offer our graduates and our family. So the International Feng Shui Guild here, also a beautiful logo, um, being a proud certified professional member of the Guild, gives you ongoing advice and aid from anyone within the guild. It's a wonderful resource, continuing education. Um, we are continually evolved and keeping tuned in with what's going on and advancements with Feng Shui, and we hope that you do too. The newsletter is excellent with 
like super articles that you can get involved with even contributing yourself. And the ability to advertise your services to a broader audience simply by being active within the guild. And it's a great resource. It's extremely helpful and valuable. And I think um, if there is a significant cost to it and we're happy to put the bill for you to get started, but it's worth every single penny and pays you back. So our schedule, Steve, you want me to take this one? Yeah, go right ahead. Our schedule, we're kicking off October 5th for our Certified Intrinsic Feng Shui Professional Course Part 1, Feng Shui for Your Happiness and Success. The Part 1 is basically something you might want to take if you're a DIYer and you need some clarification and our help. And um, just a taste of what we do mm -hmm. and the introduction and the foundations of Feng Shui. October 5th, now normally Steve and I have uh, always planned and being able to meet with you in person. Right now, being in the midst of a pandemic, we are virtually going to kick off this course with you. Hopefully in the future, we'll be back to meeting with everybody in person and have those events again. October 5th is one of our favorites, the Introduction and Scientific Studies. Steve keeps going back to how important it is to uh, underline the data that goes behind feng shui to underline the significance and the importance. Now that's an hour and a half course, um, part of the course of a webinar from 8 to 9.30 Eastern. And then the six, we return quickly to keep your momentum going with flow, energy, and chi, the yin and yang theory. Love it. The eighth, we're back, Bagua on the five elements. And then we return on the 12th for some review and Q&A. This is something we're doing to give you more of an opportunity to just um, you know, conjecture about what you've learned. If you have questions, we want to be here for you in the group setting. We're going to move into landscaping and feng shui cures, one of our favorites. And then the magic square. I'm sure that sounds very interesting to you if you know very little about feng shui, but it is very much a root of feng shui. And we're going to teach you some additional secrets about the Bagua or energy map. We'll get into a very special video on just how powerful we are that we need to be reminded. And color psychology, a big part of what we're talking about with feng shui and playing into our subconscious is color psychology. We're then going to deep dive more into flow in yin and yang and buying a home before and afters. And these before and afters, you will remember forever. We do a lot of repetition. We do a lot of circling back so you really know the material. And then we jumpstart into part two, the certification. So those of you who choose to continue on with us, which I think we've had 99.9% continue on for their certification, right, Steve? Well, I, I was thinking about that. I think we've only lost one person. I one think. person. I, I was thinking of it too as I was talking. And <clears throat> I think once you get to this point and very pivotal, a bit of, you're really into it and you may be living feng shui in your own home and realizing the benefits and intrigued by learning these deeper rituals and the significance such as the Yi Jing which is one of our most popular classes, the Jing and mudras and mantras. It's always powerful. It's always unique for every class. And what you might learn coming out of that, it just kind of the doors open up after that. Um, getting into a really killer video using Feng Shui real estate. I'll tell you, Steve is the expert with real estate and Feng Shui. If you've not picked up his books yet, I encourage you to start reading now. This course alone, um, people will pay money for. Um, so if you, if anything, stay tuned for part two certification in this. If you love homes, if you love real estate, um, if you dreamt of doing anything to support real estate, this course is everything. Building, plants, and space clearing, really cool. Like, I think, Steve, I'm really into Pinterest and I see so much out there in social media with people collecting plants and realizing the significance of plants in all spaces from residences to right. commercial and how much plants can be used to not only 
raise the vibe, but also clear the air. And I think that's becoming one of our most popular webinars. The video and staging of Bacon House, the wealth cares and universal design. I think it's very unique, very, um, it will set you apart as a professional. And then another really cool part of it is we share some of the relationship cures and rituals that we learn from our teachers and our grandmaster in simply creating, you know, cre creating and maintaining uh, relationships, whether they be uh, love relationships or even partnerships in business. Um, and we here then introduce our assignment. And I assure you, it's not a scary assignment. Um, it's something you're going to enjoy. And we talk about the green movement and feng shui. Uh, the video on prospecting clients um, uh, is, again, very, very valuable. Um, we teach you a lot of secrets about LinkedIn. Um, Steve and I are very involved in LinkedIn, but Steve is one of the top members of LinkedIn and knows prospecting in and out and you will not want to meet me. This is a course in its own, just like the staging. Um, it's worth gold. And Steve, um, what, what are your, you know, what are your key thoughts about LinkedIn and uh, well, to How me, it's been it quite, yeah, it's been really powerful for me. I've been involved as a series member for over eight years now, and uh, I am one of the top five percent in the world in connections at this point, and uh, that is where I get an awful lot of my my interest and my prospects from. So, it, LinkedIn is one of the more powerful parts of that particular video, but there's an awful lot of other information there that'll help you a great deal to find. Uh, clients for your business. Yes, there's something to learn. And as it continues to evolve, it's more and more important um, to use all of the tools that we teach. And then the Feng Shui toolkits we present to you on November 21st. No one else has it. Um, it is exclusive to us and carefully put together by us. We'll review concepts and explain setting up your Feng Shui business. Underline the importance of the guild, the inner, outer, inner workings of the guild and how to get involved, um, how to make the best use of your membership. And we also talk about our newsletter. We love the idea of involving our students and our graduates in our newsletter. So this is very much interactive. It's not dictating to you. We want to include you and involve you at this point. Your assignments will be reviewed and how to start your business. And we'll talk about how we'll continue to move forward after you graduate. So you're, we're not cutting you loose and you know, see you later, write us a postcard. We are going to be there every step of the way and we will check on you. And if we don't hear from you, <laughs> we will track you down and see how you're doing and see how we can help you. And we are very proud of the success we've seen come from our graduates. And it's, it's a wonderful story that unfolds every time. I, I love to see the um, customer reviews come in for our graduates. I love to learn about the names that they chose for their new businesses, see their websites unfold. It is amazing. And we really look forward to seeing what you're able to develop. And then on the 23rd with Q&A, we just want to make sure we tie everything together with a nice thing go. And I mean, I think that's the biggest thing, right, Steve? Like, I feel the one thing that really sets us apart right now is our lifelong aid for our students. Um, I, there isn't a day that goes by that I don't hear from one of our graduates. Yeah, I think in, in both of our experiences with our prior teachers, we never got that. And uh, <laughs> we definitely pride ourselves in doing that. We get back to people very quickly. And when a person has a problem with respect to a house, an environment, an office, whatever, you know, we're quickly there for them. So we're very proud of that. Very much so. It's, it's been amazing. This has been a wonderful journey and uh, it's even more exciting than I ever imagined when we launched this school to be able to really be there for our students and really get to know them and feng shui there is a room for everyone in feng shui. There's, 
very little competition because you're so able to carve out your own unique path. Um, there's a beautiful interrelationship where you can collaborate with other feng shui professionals and um, everyone, you know, I guess you could say everyone can carve their own niche, um, whether you're working in a certain area of interest or where, whether that, you know, is based on where you live. But um, we love to be involved every step of the way from the infancy of the business idea to seeing you integrate feng shui into your business and watching those wonderful testimonials roll in for you. So I think, I think that's what makes us so beautiful about the intrinsic school of feng shui. It really is like inside and out feng shui. Well, I, I totally agree, Lisa. You know, I, I think I'm also have to say the same thing. We're, we're very proud of uh, the uniqueness of our school. And I think you'd find that, again, we're very sensitive to your needs. And uh, I want to thank you all for showing up and watching. And uh, if you have any questions about the school, you know, please contact myself or Lisa at this point. We would love to help you. We'd like to answer any of your questions. You might want to just take part one and get started and see if you even like the two of us. <laughs> but I think you will. And you'll find out that there's an awful lot of power to this whole process. It's, again, a, a great, great way of spending your life, I think. It's a great lifestyle. And uh, I got involved with it, like I said, about 15 years ago. Decided to sell my part of a real estate company with 32 agents to just follow my dream. And that's what I've done. So, again, I want to thank you for showing up. And, uh, again, if we have any questions for us, Go ahead and contact us and we'll be glad to answer anything for you. Thank you.